Hey, all you Bush Gardens junkie fans. Guess what? We're here at it again. Another Friday, a little bit wet. As you can see, there's some clouds back there behind me. Uh, I forget which direction that is. I believe um, south. South. Yeah. I think that's south. Yeah, I think so. We'll, we'll call it south for now. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, supposedly the rain is coming in off the Gulf and it's gonna head inland. So yeah, we're gonna get ourselves a little bit of sprinkles, which is not bad because, hey, it's a hot one in Florida. When is it never hot in Florida? I mean, we only got two seasons, summer and not so summer. <laughs> oh, we're gonna go ahead and check in here. Um, the lines don't look too bad. Crowds don't look too bad. Ticketing booths. Hardly anybody in line. I said hardly anybody in line. Wow. Wow. Just wow. Anyway. <laughs> so, uh, security check looks like it's going to be a breeze. We're going to have fun today, aren't we? A little wet fun. Ooh. decided to uh, make a right today and head over to our cheetah hunt because every day this week we've been looking at the times and cheetah hunt climbs up to two hours in like five minutes flat so <laughs> who knows what the time is going to be like but we're also heading over here to see um, if the cheetahs have any activity which it looks like we do have some activity. We have a couple of the cheetah handlers and I'm gonna go ahead and pan around. Yes, you guys see that right? It is zero minutes for cheetah hunt. It's a first in a week. Well, who knows? Uh, currently, it is uh, temporarily closed due to the inclement weather. And uh, while there's no lightning, it is still raining. So they probably don't want to run it while it's wet. So. Just like in the last video I posted, we have some construction walls over here. Uh, they did mention a big hollow scream event for this year. So it is a very good possibility that uh, a lot of those construction walls are going up for hollow scream. So stay tuned, we'll find out. There's another disappointing number on Cobra's Curse. All three zeros, which means it's down for good. So, um, yeah, Cobra's Curse, it's a Mack ride roller coaster. Family ride. It is, no, it's a Mack rides. 
okay. roller coaster, spinning coaster. Right. No inversions, and uh, it broke down about two, three weeks ago, probably three weeks ago. And uh, last I heard, they are waiting for a part. Disappointing. So. We're gonna go ahead and head up to Montu. Because I just saw it run. So there's a very good chance we can get a time for Montu. And hop right on. Get our first wet ride of the day. Yeehaw! Oh. oh. Yeah, so they closed off that section. <laughs> As you can see, they got a big crane snuck in there going to the elevator. So it's a very good possibility something's wrong with the elevator itself. The elevator is what takes that little piece of track up and down. The train comes out of here, goes onto the elevator. One track goes up while another track comes down. And then it releases and you go down through the rest of the track and then you come around and around and up here and all over the place. So what it does look like they're doing though is they got a crane up there, and that is where the uh, the actual motors are to run the cables to run the track up and down. So I guess one of those is uh, not working, or both. Who knows? We can obviously say that David did not break it this time. That's for you, David. I'm sorry I blamed you the last time, but obviously this is not your fault. We have an 1120 appointment for Montu, but as you can see from the water, it's uh, drizzling quite a bit. Oh. We decided to take this little path here. Check out these big, huge, whatever birds they are. Yeah. Some kind of stork, maybe. And we got zebras. Island tree. And we have the safari tour. And they're feeding the giraffes getting all wet out there. Yeah. Yeah, like we're getting all wet out here. So, yeah, we are kind of getting wet. And the train is going by. And a train is coming by. And I got gravel. Well, as the train is going by, and the fact that it's raining, I highly doubt we'll need a, a water ride anytime soon. What do you think? No, nah, no water ride. Oh, we got some more big birds here. I'm sorry, but yeah, it is raining and the lens has uh, some raindrops on it. So. Another angle of the crane. We'll just wait under here, underneath some of their shade.
while the train goes by. And now the train's going by, we're gonna go ahead and continue. Yay, and get further wet, yay. Yeah, it's coming down good. None of them care about the rain. <laughs> and yeah, we'll get another view of the crane over here. Now they brought the crane down and there's something well yeah we're getting too wet we're gonna head over to some shelter and that would be at the ride entrance i bet well we heard some big huge bangs and it looks like they're getting ready to move the trucks on out so they're gonna take them on down that way and I think they're getting ready to clear these people so they can drive it out. That ought to be, that ought to be interesting. So we're gonna head over to Montu. Now there has been a couple of lightning strikes recently, but not within the past 15 minutes. So give them about another five minutes. They should open back up. Looks like they got one of the trucks out here already. <laughs> they did get one crane out, but they still got one crane in place. making quite a bit of noise up there. Well folks, I think we found the problem with Cheetah Hunt. Train 1 seems to have had a rollback. And it's stuck on the first launch, uh, second launch. So, yep. They may not be getting this one running in a while.
The other ones are inside the hut. Pinkies, little tuxedo birds. The track. Find the reticulated giraffe. <laughs> the reticulated giraffe can grow up to 18 feet in height and do nearly everything standing up. This includes eating, drinking, sleeping, and even giving birth. Just like us humans, the reticulated giraffe has seven vertebrae in their neck. have a complete 360 degree vision, meaning they can see all the way around them.
they are way up there. On the left hand side of the train across the pond in the field, you'll see the Grand Gazelles. The Grand Gazelles can run 45 to 50 miles per hour and are directly related to the Thompson Gazelles that we have back at the Nairobi train station. And a turtle. And a turtle. Yeah, a couple of them probably. Those are water bucks behind that tree. Saw them work. Oh, there they go. And okay, they're not hanging out over here.
seat down. Ladies and gentlemen, a loose argument is not permitted aboard Tigris. That means you cannot have anything that is loose in your hands. It must be secure in oh. locker or in your pockets. Thank you. Somebody did not have a GoPro with a wrist strap. Shame, shame, shame. Shame. Congratulations, you conquered Tigris. This is why you get one of these wrist straps. Oh. Thank you for riding Tigris. All right. Here we go again. For the second time. There, now you can see us better. Look nice up here. Not that way. Not that way. There was some rain. Oh, it looks like some rain over there. There's a new construction for uh, Moffitt. And here we go. The draw.
we are on Falcon's Fury. It's it's raining a little bit, but that's okay. Hopefully, it won't hurt when we're coming down, <laughs> like the last time. But yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it does look like it's going to slow down a little bit. <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Yeah. When we get to the top, then you can scream. They said you were with it, right? Yeah. Do you guys have a strap on yes. this? Yes. Yes. Thank you very much. Yep. I don't want. <laughs> <laughs> Too late now. Yeah. Wait, bye bye. <laughs> Good. It stopped raining. It won't hurt coming down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're going higher. Okay, now you can start screaming. <laughs> Hey, look at all the rain. <laughs> Ooh, yeah! <laughs> That's beautiful. Well, a little bit of a summary of uh, today so far. Um, it's on and off rain. So, um, yeah. Not much rides. Not many rides and... Uh, but we did get to go on the ones that we wanted to go on. Except for Cobra's Curse because, well, they were still uh, working on that with the cranes and stuff. But Shikra, Falcon's Fury. And because of the rain and the moisture today, I don't think we we're going to go on any water rides like the Log Flume or the Congo River Rapids. We've already got our fair share of wetness this morning in the rain. And uh, we're going to go ahead and head back over to Montu because we still have a open time for Montu and we're going to go on that and have some fun. We didn't go on Cheetah Hunt yet, did we? No. Because Cheetah Hunt was still down. Ah, uh, that's right. Cheetah Hunt was down. Because of the train stuck. So, yeah. And, uh, yeah. Duh. <laughs> We saw that train stuck on the second launch. Um, so they probably won't have that thing running today at all. But we'll go check when we go see Montu. <laughs> <laughs>